So fast forward to Zika virus, mm -hmm. and Zika virus was in many ways in terms of preparedness even worse than Ebola because Zika wasn't on anyone's list, not the bioterrorism threat list, not the pandemic preparedness list. Zika was thought to be mild. You'd hear things like flu-like, like you do when people mm -hmm. say the symptoms are flu-like. It was not known to cause serious problems at all. So this is the good part. No mosquitoes in here, no mosquitoes. And but I, now. I have a, no, here's what I brought. Okay. The red strip, if, if I wasn't on stage yeah. and wasn't pre-warned not to bring any mosquitoes, this is impregnated with 50 female 80s mosquito eggs. That then you I pour want. about a half a cup of water in there. I'm gonna try some. You can do that, half a cup of water. Can I try some mosquito food or something? Like, please don't eat that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't follow directions. And then you put this in your backyard in a shady okay. spot. Open. Open, and two weeks later. Could you put Chinese food in here instead? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later, 50 female 80s mosquitoes will be born. You fly close out it. of your you backyard, it. You're right out of this. Sexually oh. transmitted diseases to solve. That's exactly right. Okay. That's the citizen science. Wow, I wonder if Tinder can help. And so um, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> when we think about um, what we're trying to do, we not only love innovation, but we love the concept of leapfrogging what's really hard in, in poor countries. So two of my favorite innovations that the foundations worked on, one's become famous because of Bill drinking poop water on Jimmy Fallon. Yes, that was nice. So we skipped sewer systems. Most big urban poor terrible. cities, terrible, terrible, right? The, it's open sewage, it's a disaster. So we're trying to leapfrog sewer systems with what's called an omniprocessor that takes right. care of sludge and, tra uh, and translates to water. That's a great innovation. Yeah, I'm curious your thoughts about uh, superbugs and antibiotics. My sister was recently came down with MRSA, so we'd wear lab coats around her. It's a staff that's antibiotic resistant. Yeah. There was a recent headline about E. coli. Uh, and how it now resists all antibiotics, and it can potentially transfer that trait to other uh, bacteria. Yeah, the, the, um, the whole area of antimicrobial resistance, whether it's in E. coli or staph, is a massive global issue on two fronts. Um, one is that it's increasing, as you experienced in your family, and we just heard about a urinary tract infection with an E. coli that resists one of, the, one of our, our true last resorts. Pharma and biotech have not invested in this area. It's a true market failure. And in the case of market failures, others have to step in. Um, in our case, we have invested heavily in antimicrobial resistance in malaria and tuberculosis in particular.